Alright, guys. Welcome back. So, I made a post on my YouTube community and also on my Discord, asking you guys to tell me things I don't know about the game. I didn't want to tell you that I wanted myths for the game because I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to gather some crazy myths to bust, but what did I get? Y'all had some interesting responses. But before we get into all that madness, make sure you're subscribed and hit the like button, because we're going myth busting today. So, I asked for myths, and what did I get? It was developed in mid-2020 to 2022, and got announced beta in 2023 also. These nuts. Really, man? This is the myth you thought I didn't know? Now, to be fair, you weren't entirely wrong. Yes, Blood Strike's development did start in the early 2020s, and the beta was announced in 2023. But you lost me at these nuts. Search and Destroy will be added to the game. Oh, this one sounds spicy. But before we jump to conclusions, there's actually been no official announcement from the devs about a Search and Destroy mode. It's mostly rumors, for now. I mean, I'd love to see that mode. Who wouldn't? But unless they surprise us with an update, this one's still a myth. Bloodstrike is going to have a new movement and fix it. I wasn't supposed to say this. Ah, uh, we've got a leaker here. Or, do we? To be honest, there's been a lot of talk in the community about movement improvements. But again, there's no confirmation. The devs have promised fixes for bugs and performance issues, so that could possibly include movement tweaks. But until we see an update, this one stays a myth for now. Do you know Bloodstrike is on PS5? Wait, what? Bloodstrike is on PS5? I don't know where you heard this one, but Bloodstrike isn't on PlayStation. At least, not yet. The game is on PC and mobile only for now, and there's no news of it coming to consoles anytime soon. So, whoever told you that is just messing with you. This one's a clear myth, busted. It's banned in India, but I still play. Alright, so this one's not a myth, it's actually true. Bloodstrike is banned in India, and if you're in India, you already know the struggle. But here's the funny part, despite the ban, people are still finding ways to play. Now we've got some, let's just say, interesting comments that don't really fit in anywhere else. I don't know what you don't know about Bloodstrike. Well, that makes two of us. Thanks for the help, I guess. Bloodstrike is a game. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I had no idea. Moving on. It will shut down in some years to come. Now, this one's got people talking, right? People have these concerns because Bloodstrike is developed by NetEase, a company that's become pretty infamous for releasing games with great potential, but often leaving them in a mess of problems. Many of their past games have been overtaken by hackers and flooded with pay-to-win features, causing a lot of players to leave out of frustration. So, naturally, when people see NetEase behind Bloodstrike, their worried history will repeat itself. But hey, while it's understandable why people are cautious, I'm holding on to the hope that things will be different this time. Bloodstrike already feels like it's being handled more carefully. Sure, it's not perfect, but it seems like the devs are actively working to keep hackers out and maintain a balanced gameplay environment. Maybe NetEase learned from their past mistakes. At least, that's the hope. So this myth? Busted. So, that's what I've got for now. That was some interesting myths. But here's where you come in. I want some real myths, guys. Not these nuts, okay? Head over to my Discord server, links in the description, and drop your blood strike myths in the dedicated myths channel. I'll be going through all of them in the next video and busting them one by one. Let's make this myth busting series a thing. Before I go, make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more blood strike content, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on the next myth busting episode. And remember, the best way to support the game is to keep playing, keep having fun, and most importantly, don't believe everything you hear. Stay sharp, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.